I'm Tim Foss. I'm going to show you how to put together one of these nifty fuel bonuses for your Canon 550D or T2i for about $35. Now one of the minor aggravations of the Canon is that the rear monitor doesn't fold out. So you always have to have your face stuck to the back of the camera, which isn't always where you want to be when you're trying to take your more interesting video shots. And also, let's face it, with something like this on your camera rig, it's looking pretty neat. Fitting a fuel monitor to your Canon is a straightforward affair because the AV socket has a video feed that goes straight into a monitor. There are plenty of monitors on the market, the professional ones which will give you beautiful colour rendition and everything perfect, do cost between three to five hundred dollars which is a bit out of kilter to the price of the camera. And if you're really interested basically in focusing and framing then you can do everything that you need to do for $35 and a few hours of your time. What's really made these cheap field monitors possible are the new LCD screens coming out for car reversing cameras. They come in sizes between 4 and 7 inches and resolutions 480 to 800 which is just about fine. Their connections are straightforward, they're flying leads that go straight into the lead that you get with the Canon. So connections are straightforward. They seem perfect, but it raises two practical questions. How are you going to power it and how are you going to mount it? So this one says its voltage requirements are 6 to 32 volts, which is pretty wide. I thought I'd give it a go at 9 volts because I've got an eye on using a PP3 to power it. So I found an old 9 volt power supply to plug it into that and voila, it works. So we're okay on 9 volts. So let's try it with a battery got hold of a nice neat little case for PP3, put a Duracell in it, and it ran for about an hour, which is really good. But the second Duracell in it only ran for about 20 minutes, which was rather worrying. I got hold of a couple of decent rechargeables and tried those, and they also ran for an hour. So one rechargeable for an hour and a spare gives you two hours videoing, which is going to be pretty good going. So with that all working, using a good sticky pad, the battery pack goes on the back, just like so. To mount it, I got a flash gun swivel mount with lots of mounting options. And with a small bit of shaving of this shaft, it all seems to fit and work fine. The monitor does show your entire LCD screen, which is great, but the downside is that it may be a bit stretched. The quality is plenty good enough for framing and focusing, so for $35 and this hour or so's work, you've got a very tidy field monitor. It's flexible and adds virtually no weight. If you're YouTubing or doing close-ups, then I found that the windscreen mount fitted something nice and flat, like a CD case, to produce a very good static monitor. So how did the cost stack up? Well, the $20 or so for the monitor and a few dollars here and there for the other bits and pieces, but comfortably in that $35 region. And for that, I got a very good field monitor for both outdoors and indoors use. So I'll be very interested in how you get on with this. Do let me know via the comment section.